Hi everybody, it's Andrew. Today I have We Are the Ants by Sean David Hutchinson. In general, he's a really great writer. I haven't read everything, but I also read five stages of Andrew Brawley, and that was amazing. But I'm not here to talk about Andrew Brawley. I'm here to talk about We Are the Ants, and this just came out a little bit ago, and it's really good. We Are the Ants involves a teenager named Henry, and his life is just crappy. He's got his mom can't stop smoking, his grandma's living with him, and he's got Alzheimer's, his older brother drops out of college because his girlfriend's pregnant, and his boyfriend committed suicide not too long ago. Resulting from that suicide, Henry is having little, like, affairs with this jock guy in high school who treats him like crap in public but can't wait to get in his pants later on in private. And to top it all off, he's often abducted by aliens for who knows why. He calls the aliens the sluggers because they seem like slugs with big antenna eyes, no mouths, and weird, scaly, green-brown colors. So this has been happening to him for years, and he's always returned naked and somewhere. He just has to find his own way home. It's very frustrating. And so then we begin the book, and he's finally abducted again, and they give him this decision on... They're trying to communicate with him because they have no mouths, and it's really hard for him to figure out, but he eventually finds out that... He has the power that they have given him to press a button to save the Earth, and if he doesn't press it, it's going to end somehow, but he doesn't know how. And so a lot of the book is spent with him wondering whether or not he should even bother to press the button because his life is so crappy, and everyone else's life around him is so crappy, and the world is so crappy to him, and he doesn't really see the point in it. Then this guy Diego comes along and Henry starts feeling feelings again, but he feels so guilty because his boyfriend committed suicide and he should never love anyone else because he couldn't save his boyfriend. What is he doing? And it's so sad. And we really, it, there's so much happening. So this is a pretty hefty book. It's like 450 pages or so. Yeah. I read this all in one day and stayed up really late to finish it because I couldn't stop. It's really good. But the other thing I love about Sean David Hutchinson's books, like this one and the Andrew Brawley one, I haven't read the others, but both of them feature a gay character, but it's not the like the theme of the book. Like there's there's other stuff happening, but it's imp but it's still important to the book. But it's not like some coming out novel. Oh, I need to let people know. Stuff like that, you know. It's really nice to see that regulated in his stories, and it makes it even better to me. Thank you for watching. I hope you're interested. See you next time.